I googled the Spotify rankings yesterday. She's dropped to number 55. Ironically, Dr. Jordan Peterson was number 18. I listen to Joe Rogan a lot. Don't always agree with him, but he does have excellent guests and shows without an army of producers. Listeners and viewers are turned away by someone who comes across as inauthentic. Unfortunately for Meghan Markle, she's not a very good liar. She also doesn't have and is incapable of faking interest in other people's stories or opinions, which doesn't bode well for a podcast's future. Before that, Meghan Markle has taken a swipe at Hollywood and sitcoms such as How I Met Your Mother for the stereotypes that are held and perpetuated around women. She also hit out at philosopher Jordan Peterson for his repeated comments about the controlling of women. The former Suits actress featured an audio clip of the self-help author saying, I don't think that men can control crazy women. A few days later, Dr. Jordan Peterson has hit back at Meghan Markle after she took a swipe at him in a podcast. During an interview with Piers Morgan Uncensored, available to stream on Flash, Peterson was asked how he felt about appearing on the Duchess's podcast as a villain. Her voice drips with the same falsehood that the voice of Kamala Harris drips with, he told the Sky News host. It's this sanctimonious fox compassionate talking down to her audience. While appearing to impersonate the royal, Peterson drew laughs from Morgan as he continued, trying to be sure that we're all really on the same compassionate page here and we're all being victimized by terrible forces that are arrayed against us and none of that's really fair. It just grates on me, he said. Ironically, if she talks about the things that really interest her instead of the things she pretends to care about because she thinks it makes her so special and unique, it might do better numbers. Frivolous things. The only issue is, it will probably still suck and get panned because she's going on and on about superficial, incredibly expensive things that no one else can relate to and will reveal how shallow and horrible she is. Her podcast honestly depresses me. I don't listen to it, but read bits and pieces on here. It's really sad that Meghan Markle has a platform to spread her victimhood. Even more sad that she has fans who find this podcast enlightening and educational. I don't lead my daily life thinking about how I'm a woman and everyone is out to get me. Anyone who's a self-proclaimed activist is not an activist. That word is overused. Genuinely, what has Meghan Markle done as an activist other than talk about doing? It's just, no one else seems to agree with them, apart from some Twitter accounts that mostly just look either like bots or I assume there is some scheme afoot where people get paid to help push her online. Meghan needed a team of 28 people to produce this vanity project that seems to have been made for the sole purpose of giving her a platform to talk about herself and her many grievances. Making a podcast must have cost Spotify a fortune, and there's no chance they could have possibly recouped the losses they suffered producing this drivel.